My grandmother said he was the finest man that Scotland ever produced. In 1906, Donald Sutherland immigrated to Canada from Brora, an East Coast Scottish fishing village. There, for over a century, his family had eked out a living by fishing herring, affectionately known as silver darlings, on the wild, stormy North Sea. But the collapse of the fishing industry sent Don and his seven brothers and sisters looking for new opportunities in Canada. The family first made their way to Winnipeg, where Don found work as a lineman with General Telephone and met my grandmother, Gertrude. They had three children, Gordon, Hazel, and Gerald, my dad. A natural leader and an advocate for workers' rights, Don played a significant role in the 1919 Winnipeg General Strike. But for his efforts, he was blacklisted and faced a bleak employment future there. And so, with two train tickets for his family of five, he moved to Vancouver. He always said it was the spring flowers in Stanley Park that drew him to Vancouver, but he knew, too, that he could collect on a debt from an old Winnipeg friend and become the owner of the Fairview Movie House at 7th and Granville Street. At the Fairview, Don launched his family business, and in true Nickelodeon style, sons Gordy and Jerry played violin as the silent movie script scrolled across the screen. Don later sold the Fairview and moved on to the Collingwood area's most popular venue, the Carlton. His success there and the growing popularity of talking pictures in the 30s led him to build the Kingsway Theatre. The Kingsway Theatre was a family concern. Son Gordy became projectionist, daughter Hazel sold popcorn and sweets, and mother Gertrude cleaned during the day and sold tickets in the evening. Don and youngest son Jerry developed the business. Over the years, the Circle, Fraser, Totem, and New Westminster Drive-In were added. More relatives were put to work. It was truly a family affair. Don retired from the business in the 1940s, making way for the family to form partnerships with Odeon Theatres Limited. Uncle Gordy carried on as a projectionist. My dad went on to become vice president, managing theatres around the province and in the city, most notably the Park, the Coronet, the Odeon Downtown, and the Vogue. My grandfather's life witnessed massive change from traditional Scottish ways to the modern era, as he grew from fisherman to movie impresario.